Hi, this is Steve with Jetters Northwest, and again, we're on the floor here in Indianapolis at the huge wet trade show. Um, something I get asked about a lot is when you have a jetter that, say, has a higher flow rate, like this is a 12 gallon per minute jetter with a half inch jetting hose, they're concerned with what's going to happen if I put on a smaller jetting hose, such as this quarter inch one. Is it going to cause it to overpressurize? Is it going to cause the jetter to wear out prematurely? Well, with jetters like ours that have a pressure regulating unloader valve, that is also what we call a flow splitter. And that takes care of this problem and actually brings it to an opportunity to allow you to use a lot of different hose sizes and nozzle sizes for different flow rates. As an example, if I hooked up this hose to this mini reel, we call these a mini reel, and of course I would use wrenches to tighten it all up. Now I'm direct feeding this reel my jetter, if I ran it up full throttle, would be putting out 12 gallons per minute. Because as we talk about, full throttle on your engine means full flow from your jetter. This little hose, of course, is not going to put out 12 gallons per minute. Uh, especially when I, I don't want to put 12 gallons a minute in, a, say, a two inch line that I was cleaning with this hose, or maybe a three inch line. So what's going to happen to that water? Well, let's just say that this was a six gallon a minute nozzle my pressure regula regulating unloader valve is going to split that flow. If I have 12 gallons a minute coming out of the pump and this nozzle is allowing six to come out, the other six gallons a minute, for example, would simply be bypassed back to whatever my water tank source is. And if I went to even a smaller nozzle, say like an eighth inch nozzle, it only put out two or three gallons a minute, it will just again, the regulator valve will just bypass the surplus water back to the water tank. So the benefit is it gives you a lot of versatility. You can use different hose sizes and different nozzle sizes for different flow rates for different size of pipe that you're cleaning. If you're going into a sink with a very small hose, you can even back that regulator off down to a lower pressure, say 1500 or 2000 PSI, so you're not backsplashing yourself. And of course, you can simply disconnect, put your high flow nozzle back on, and go back to jetting at full output. So hope that answers that question a bit. Appreciate you watching. Here on the wet trade show, it's always a great place to come. If you've never been, really encourage you to come out to Indianapolis and see all the equipment and meet all the people. Again, this is Steve with Jetters Northwest. Have a super day.